Hello friends, what if you had this and you could turn it into this? Today we're going to be talking about multi-diffusion region control masking, which basically means that you can paint a mask and tell Stable Diffusion what this mask is supposed to contain. Let me show you how that works and then let's get started right away. Someone asked, did you get a haircut? And I said, no, I got them all cut. So first off, if you want to use this today, as of me recording this, you can't easily install it from the extensions tab. You're going to have to go into your command. You're going to find your Stable Fusion folder. You're going to go into extensions, see this change directory. When you're in here, you're going to copy. I'm going to put this in the video description below. So just copy paste. I'm going to clone the Stable Fusion Web UI two shot in. This is not merged into main yet. That's why we can't get it from extensions. Then you're gonna go back one step and paste this. Then just start up your Stable Fusion and make sure that you have the latest version of everything. If you go into your extensions tab, you should see that you have the Stable Fusion Web UI two shot here, but it says unknown because we install it in a, a weird way. If you wanna remove this, just delete the folder from extensions, super easy. Then I'm going to check available, load from, and now we're going to find composable LoRa, which is the one here. You're going to press install, and it says here install into uh, the folder. And then we're going to go to install, and we're going to apply and restart. Now we have installed everything that's needed. We're going to run with the Illuminati model here that I checked out in my previous video. If you want to get that, check that out. I'm going to add the negative embeddings. We're going to use 25 steps in Euler A. I'm going to change this to 768, 768 because it's trained on that size, this model, and the model likes a uh, little lower CFG scale. Now you have Composable LoRa and Latent Couple here. Composable LoRa, press Enable, and if you can't see this, just go into Extensions and make sure that they're all checked here. And Latent Couple, Enable. Here we can uh, either paint the mask in uh, Photo P or whatever, but we are going to paint straight into here. So just take the same resolution as we're going to use. And we're going to create this blank canvas. And here we can create our painting or our drawing. So we're going to start with a little yellow here. And I'm going to paint in here. We're going to have a robot standing here I, or a person. What do you think? Maybe a man or robot. We'll see. And then we're going to paint. Let's take the green here. And this is going to be a vehicle, a car, or some sort of vehicle. And then we're going to pick something. Let's take red. And this will be a skyline. We're going to be in a city that's sort of skyline. So this is a fairly rough sketch. You can do it much more detailed. Just for the sake of simplicity of this tutorial, I'm picking three pieces. Now you can do this in multiple colors in, in many, many ways. So then press I finished my sketch. And then you can see here that you get for every color that you've used, you get a prompt. First, you have a general prompt for image. And we are going to put in here, Fish Islands Futuristic Sci-Fi Street City Scene. And we said that the green here is, was going to be the vehicle. So we put in futuristic car, I'm gonna put in rainy RTX Octane Unreal, and the yellow here, we said maybe a robot, maybe a man, I'm gonna put in cyberpunk woman actually, RTX rainy Octane Unreal. So I'm keeping the, you know, the filler words the same here. It's not to supposed to be necessary, but I found that I got the most consistent results like that. So that's what I kept doing. And I added sci-fi city skyline and the same filler words. And then just make sure that you press prompt info update. You can change the weight here depending on how important that you want these to be. Since they're all, we only have three objects and they're not very close to one another. We're going to keep them all at one. Press prompt info update. And now we can start generating. I'm going to start with four batches. You can see the prompt is up here. Now the and here is added. And that's basically saying that we want this and this and this and this. And the and makes sure that they're set into the, the specific colors. Okay, let's check out what we see. Or what we get rather. 
So we can clearly see that we have the fish islands from the scene prompt. And then we have a character on the right side here in every scene. We have a sort of a city skyline up top. And we have what looks or tries to create some sort of vehicles, but uh, look at them in detail when we get them done. So here we have, here's a vehicle down here. Here's a sort of a, a wheel that they tried to make into a vehicle. This is a, I don't know, maybe a futuristic vehicle. This didn't have one at all. But as you can see, the power of these color masks, you give Stable Diffusion space to work with. You say, okay, in this space, I want this woman. And then it kind of, you know, does a little what it wants. So we have three that's basically in the space. Then we have this one here where, where it's still in the space, but you have a head here and a reflection here. So technically it's not wrong, but it's not what, what we're looking for. And, you know, the same with the vehicle here. We're going to try this again and we're going to take here and we're going to paint a little more. Let's get a little more car in here. There we go. And we're going to drop the fish islands, update this. All oh, right, we need to also, I finished my sketch to update that. So we get the bigger car. Let's try four new ones. You can see here that we have the character coming into the right. We have a bigger car this time. Maybe, I don't know if you noticed, but just before we get to see the image, you can actually see the mask and, and where everything, here you can see it quickly before it starts rendering everything else. Now it's not as consistent as control net. You give it a little more freedom, especially in a painting like this, where we have a lot of white space. So here again, we have characters on the right side in our yellow, and we have the vehicle to the left. Uh, this one didn't have one big vehicle, but we did have a couple of small ones or one, two, three, four small ones down here. We have the city skyline sort of up top. Now the rain kind of messes with my images a little bit, and that's because, you know, the reflection. So this is like we talked about previously, stable diffusion technique thinks, okay, this is correct because it's still a person here in the, refle in the reflection. And let's try something else. Beautiful Roman garden, bed of roses. Roman woman in long white dress. Let's see if it gets the white correct. Let's try balcony. See if that works. So we still have the character on the right side. Now we have the Illuminata model, so everything is going to be dark and, and gloomy, but uh, you're going to have to bear with me. And here we can see we have the woman in the white dress on the right side. We have the better roses, even though some of these roses are huge. We have a garden. Uh, this could be sort of a balcony up here, but it's more of a roof and the same with these. But they actually, instead of just having the gardens that we had in the beginning, it actually tried to get some sort of a building up in here. So I'd say that's fairly decent. Now, now these images aren't great at all, because this model isn't suited for this particular type. So let's do something that is more suitable with this model. All right, so I reset this. We're going to do another one. And take the yellow here again. Make this bigger. A robot here. And then for the blue here, we're going to have a person. So we yeah, finished my sketch. Put in futuristic sci-fi factory scene. The blue here was supposed to be our person. So I put in cyberpunk man, the same filler words as before. And then we're going to put in cyberpunk robot here. Update the prompt. And let's go for new images. Now we're not really getting what we're looking for. We have the man here, we have no robot to the right. Here's the sort of a man robot merge. Same here, same here. 
we're going to change this. I'm going to put man and robot. I'm going to give this some weight. Give that some extra weight too. Just to put that in the beginning as well. Let's try again. And here you can see that we're getting more of what we're looking for. So it's it can be a little finicky, but it can be solved with prompting. Now, if you would have prompted this specific prompt without latent couple um, masking that we did, we could have a man and a robot, but they wouldn't necessarily be in these positions. Now we have them in the specific positions that we wanted. Now this turned into sort of a woman, but I think that's more because of the Illuminati model. But I think these are all fairly good. And these are all based on non-cherry-picked batches. That was a quick look at this. Uh, check it out for yourself and uh, try it out. And if you find any tips and tricks, uh, please let me know. I'm in my Discord. Links in the, the channel description and the video description. Hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe or do whatever you want. I'm not your boss. Have a good one. See ya.